Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I ended up going yard sailing and garage sailing. I only went out for about an hour or so. I didn't go out super long because I had stuff to do, but I ended up finding a pretty cool score. So I'm going to show you that right now. How's it going? And got this stuff right here. It's called five bucks. That works for me. It's cool. Ready, set, reset. Yep. I watch you, buddy. Do you? Yeah. Uh, nice to meet you, brother. I'm Ben. Too, man. I've come. I think I've bought stuff from you like three or four times yep, now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I always find something. I seen the hosting. I was like, I'll swing by, you know, just in case you got yep. some new stuff. I got um, some old vintage clothes back there in, in a tote that I didn't say put. Five. Yeah, that I didn't put out. If you want to take a look at them, I got an old, very it's really old Notre Dame jacket. Yeah, I'd be totally I'll go down. Grab yeah. It for you real quick. I had to work a little bit on the price for that. It's missing the battery and I believe a charger. Did you have that posted on the marketplace? I did. Okay, I look. I think I looked at the listing. I was like, I swear I just looked at this yeah. like the other day. I've had so many people message me about it, but they want to lowball me on it. And, uh, even as a parts camera, they're selling for $100. Yeah, I looked it up. I was like, it's not a bad price if you're looking no. for, for yourself. So, oh yeah, this is cool. What were you wanting on the clothes? Um, I don't know. I usually got an auction block that I take stuff like that too. Yeah. Um, oh, that one's you cool. You can look at them all and we'll go. There's some good stuff down in there. I've been saving that stuff for a while. Every time I find something old and neat, I just throw it in the tote. And put okay, it in cool. Bag. Yeah, we'll see if we can't do something on it. Iron Maiden, heck yeah. I've been waiting for the right person. I've seen you come up and like, I <laughs> Yep, I, I like my clothing. And it's weird because I didn't even start out like knowing much about clothing yeah. at all. I just kind of learned it because there's so much of it around oh, yeah. and it turned into being my like bread and butter. Bread and butter. <laughs> yeah, you can go ahead. Oh, $3 for everything. Yeah, you do got some good stuff in here. Oh, yeah. And the features that set them apart. This is the guy who gave my I've been for a while. <laughs> Time to let it go. Well, I'm definitely the, <laughs> the one who's going to be interested. Yeah. Someone comes along. That, I that actually, is cool. I did look that up, and I want to say it's been a while, but anywhere from like $60 to $100. Oh, it's a Jordan one, too? Yeah. That one's cool. I'll totally throw that one on there. Uh, so do you do uh do you do uh storage units i do okay that, that's kind of the vibe i got yeah i've uh tried to start ebay stuff oh, but yeah. it's just not for me i'd rather sell it's a lot somebody. keeping up with it and everything right. and then you gotta manage with shipping and oh, yeah. fees and if you're not on top of your books it can oh yeah i'd imagine eat you man yeah they got some cool stuff in here what would you want on just the whole tote so i don't have make to go through it on it man something where you can make money and i can make mine with something that you're thinking I couldn't find nothing on those jackets. I know that yep. the uh, Notre Dame ones. I know they're really old. Yeah, they look. I'm, I'm going to guess probably 70s on them. Yeah. Um. 
I don't want to lowball you on it. So. I'm thinking a hundred bucks for it all. I was thinking around eighty, but meet me halfway to ninety. Cheers, buddy. I'll do that. that that's fine with me. You give me that stuff for a good price too. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'll do that. Twenty. Yeah, you have these sales pretty often too, so I you, you'll to. definitely see me out more. Yeah, I, I started going down to uh, peddlers. Oh, have you? It's just a little bit easier because I can load up a truck load and don't have to. It takes me a day to set all this up. Oh yeah, I bet. And um, do you do good down there? Uh, it just depends on what I bring. Usually, I can bring everything and get rid of it all. It's just I let it go. I have no attachment to none of the stuff, so. Do you collect anything that you keep for yourself some, at all? Some things. Stuff these and I, uh, then I'll get sick of looking at it and eventually I'll get rid of it. But thanks, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Do you, want me to, do you want me to bring a tote back? You can have it. Okay, cool. There we go. And you're back. Back in my eBay room. I've got that whole bin of clothing that you just saw from that garage sale. What an amazing score. I've actually been to his sales a few times in the past, done some business with him, and I had no idea he was a viewer until he said something this time. So that was pretty cool. He gave me a great deal on the stuff from what I've seen. I haven't gone through the whole bin yet, so let's do that right now. So first things first, before he brought out this big tub of clothing right there, I ended up picking up a few smalls, including these two things right here. These are Arlo cameras now. I thought these were the original like doorbell camera type things, but after getting home and looking at them, I'm pretty sure that these are like displays or like the dummy models. They don't actually have the internals inside of them. So I'm not really sure where these came from. If these were the actual doorbell stuff, they would be worth a decent amount of money, but the displays and stuff, I'm not really sure what I can get for them, if anything at all. But this other thing that I got is pretty cool. It's a Flightcom voice intercom system for an airplane. Now I've sold airplane stuff before in the past, like little gauges and knobs and switches. Those things can go for some pretty good money. So I figured, hey, I see an airplane on this. Let's see what it's worth. I ended up looking it up at the sale and it looks like it should sell between 50 and $100 for this little unit. Now I can't test it out unfortunately because I don't own an airplane, wish I did, but I don't. So I can't test this out. I'm gonna sell it as used and then put in the description that I haven't tested it out. So it will be up for chance. Or maybe I should just buy an airplane, write it off as a business expense to then test that. Smart thinking right there. And now for the exciting part, this whole bin of clothing. And there is some vintage stuff in here that I'm pretty excited about. In that bin of clothing, there were a couple hats right here. There are some vintage ones and some pretty cool ones. So let's go through those. The first hat here is a vintage Cincinnati Bengals starter hat and it is clean. This thing I'm guessing will probably go for somewhere around 25 bucks. Vintage starter hats usually do pretty good and that's typically the range I can get for them. Maybe a little more if this is more of a rare one. Then we got an old NASCAR hat. This is a Valvoline one. Probably not too much value there, but still a pretty clean hat. Then we got a vintage Chicago Cubs snapback trucker cap. Pretty clean, probably not a ton of value in that. I could be wrong. I'm not super familiar with Cubs stuff and how their vintage stuff is doing. By the way, when I'm saying vintage, it means anything that is over 20 years. So at this point, anything that is like year 2000 and before is considered vintage. But there's probably not a ton of value there. Still probably will sell. I'm gonna guess probably between 15 and 20 bucks on that if I had to guess. Here's another pretty cool one. This is a vintage Cincinnati Reds hat. You guys know I'm from Cincinnati, so I love seeing this kind of stuff. And this is in a nice, pinstripe pattern. It still has the cardboard on the inside of the flat right there. So that is pretty crispy. I think the pinstripes was Big Red Machine era. I could be wrong, but I think this one is probably early 1990s. And then my favorite hat, Domino's Pizza. Hey, welcome to Domino's. This is Mo. What do you want? I said Mo because on the inside of the hat, someone wrote Mo right there. So I like to imagine Mo had this hat before me, but now it's mine. All right, now we got a few t-shirts to go through. The first shirt here is a pretty cool one, Pink Floyd. And on the back, you can see it says the 1989 tour, but I believe this is a reprint based on the tag, yeah. So on the tag, it actually says uh, year 2000 right there. So it is a reprint. However, it still should have at least a little bit of value. It is a 2009 shirt, so there's at least a little bit of age to it. And Pink Floyd's a big band, so I'm sure that'll sell for something. Then we've got Dale Earnhardt, the Intimidator. 
That's a cool NASCAR shirt. Anything Dale Earnhardt is going to have some value behind it. That's not like the craziest pattern out there. That's a pretty typical one for a NASCAR shirt, but NASCAR stuff does have a collectible following, so that would sell pretty easily, I think. This one here is pretty basic. It's just a Harley Davidson shirt from Cincinnati, Ohio. Probably not a ton of value there, maybe 15 bucks. Um, some Harley stuff is valuable, but stuff that is like centered around a specific place like Cincinnati or a specific dealership within the city usually tend to go for less money. But since this one just says Cincinnati, it might be able to sell for like 15 or so. Here we have a Pittsburgh Steelers Super Bowl shirt. It is from 2006 and it's in that cool tie-dye colorway. Somebody will want that for sure. I could definitely see a Steelers fan buying that because it does have that nice like fading to it. It's just, it's just a cool shirt, even if it is Pittsburgh. Here's one that's pretty cool just based on the graphic by itself. It's a Hobby Surf Federation, and I really do like that graphic, and it's like that puffy paint stuff that they used to print with. Pretty cool shirt. Front's pretty basic, but that back graphic is pretty sweet. Okay, I think this one might be the best shirt out of all of them, the best t-shirt out of all of them. This is a Pantera tee, and it says Cowboys from Hell on the front. That's a pretty cool one. I am fairly certain that this one is vintage. It does have a few little small holes right there in the front, if you can see, and some minor discoloration. However, I still think that'll hold a pretty decent value. I'm gonna guess probably at least, at least 40 bucks on that. It was probably worth more, but I think that's a pretty cool one. All right, here's another local shirt. It's a Cincinnati Cyclone shirt. And on the front, you can see it says MasterCard right there. So it was probably something they gave out as like a promotion at one of the games or something. Probably not a ton of value there, but still cool. All right, here's another cool one, Dale Earnhardt. And this one is front and back shirt. And that's kind of what you want to see with like NASCAR shirts. You want to see the ones that are like crazy all over color prints or the ones that have graphics on both the front and back. That will help increase the value a little bit. This is a pretty large shirt. I think this one's like a 3XL, so that one might sit a little bit, but it'll still sell eventually. Pretty cool. And the last t-shirt here is a Iron Maiden Somewhere Back in Time shirt from 2008. Not a super old one, but again, that graphic is killer. That'll sell for sure. Don't know what it's worth, but I like that one. Then there was one sweatshirt in there. It is this Dale Earnhardt Intimidator shirt. Probably not a ton of value behind this one, and it does weigh a decent amount, so it's probably gonna be need to be shipped in like a padded flat rate, but that one is still cool to see. It is a vintage one, so we'll see. All right, let's get into some of the jackets. This one right here is a Nike Windbreaker. Nike Windbreaker's general rule of thumb is they'll go for at least 20 bucks. This one's got some nice color blocking on it, and it is vented right there in the back. This one's probably closer to 30 plus. Okay, these jackets right here, these like official racing style ones, some of these can be worth some pretty good money and then some other ones can be worth like 20 bucks. So I'm really gonna have to look this one up and find this exact one. It is on a chase tag right there and it's size large, but that is one I'll have to do more research on. I'm not super into this kind of style jacket, but I do know that some of them do have a following if it is from the specific driver of a specific year. I've sold like Jeff Gordon ones for some good money before, so we'll have to see on that one. These next two jackets are pretty cool, and he pointed these ones out specifically because he tried to research them, but couldn't find anything on them. These are two vintage Notre Dame jackets, Notre Dame jackets, the Fighting Irish. See, it is a patch embroidery right there on the back. Big embroidered spell out on the front on this one. I'm guessing just based on the style of these, this is probably a 1970s jacket if I had to guess. Pretty cool, I'm gonna have to do more research on this. I posted this on my Instagram and I already had like four people message me about buying it, so I'll probably end up throwing this up on the shop if anybody's interested. The size tags are worn off on both of these, but they seem to be about size large because they fit me. Ugh. Ah, there we go. See, fits me pretty, pretty snugly. And then the other one is pretty similar to the first one. This one does not have the spell out on the front right here, but it does have the huge Notre Dame spell out right there on the back. Again, I'm going to date it to probably around the same era as this one and put it right around 1970s. Pretty cool jackets, just based on some of the other satin jackets I've sold in the past. I'm gonna guess between 50 and 100 bucks on these. And then we've got one more jacket here. This is a denim jacket, but on the back, this is the first thing I saw. That Mickey, oh my God, the world of Mickey Mouse, huge logo graphic on the back. That's a pretty cool one right there. It's on the Mickey and Co tag, if you can see that right there, if this will focus, there you go. Mickey & Co. denim jacket. I have no clue what this one's gonna worth. I'm gonna guess probably around 50 bucks on the guy, but that 
is super cool. I love that one. And then we've got two jerseys, the last two items of the bin. We got a Cleveland Cavaliers LeBron James King James jersey. His stuff sells pretty dang well, so I imagine that doesn't sit in my store for too long. It is a size 2XL, as you can see down there on the bottom, and it's pretty clean. It looks like it has one little some stain right there. We'll see if I can get that out, but nice jersey. And then finally, my favorite one out of all of those pieces, the champion Michael Jordan USA Team Basketball jersey. Number nine, a little unusual right there, but it is on the champion tag, as you can see right there, size 44. And that is just a pretty cool piece. I, I really like this one. I've never seen this print before, so I'm not super sure as to what it's worth. He said when he looked it up originally, he was seeing between like 60 and 90, I believe he said. But this one does have a little bit of fading on it, so it's probably towards the lower end, if I can guess. But still, that is an awesome score right there. If, if that fits me, I might end up keeping it for a while. But that's everything that I ended up getting at those garage sales right there. What a great score on all these clothing pieces. I am super glad he ended up bringing these out for me just because he recognized me. What a great little score. I've definitely been to his sale before and I will for sure be going back to it, especially if he's finding stuff like these in his storage locker. I have no reason not to go back to that sale. Plus he did give me a pretty good price on this stuff at 90 bucks. I'll probably pay up on whatever my next purchase is from him just because he did give me a good deal on this one. And I'd like to keep that relationship going if possible. But let me know down in the comments, what was your favorite piece from this clothing haul? Is there any of them that just stood out to you and you're like, dang, that thing is awesome. For me, I really like the Jordan jersey and I like the Domino's hat because I look fly in it. <laughs> And if you did end up liking this video, please take a second, hit that like button. It really does help me out and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. It'll keep you up to date whenever I launch a new video. Otherwise, thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and until next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.